Hello everyone. Um, sorry about the weekend, I was not well. Um, still not 100% at the minute, it's just something's acting up. But hopefully it'll settle within time. Um, so, um, today's topic is not a light topic and it is going to piss off the pro pedo groups here on YouTube. And if you are a pro pedophile, I really don't know what's up with you. But that's for a separate video that I'm planning on doing for Friday, but I'll record it tomorrow because I'll be busy on Friday, so I'll record it tomorrow night. <coughs> I'm actually recording this Wednesday night because I couldn't record it during the day while the husband was at home because this is a topic that gets him pissed off straight away. Now, <coughs> it has been covered by a few um, sources, um, but because I've talked about other instances of this happening on YouTube, I need to talk about it here. Um, I am I am going to at first briefly address another area that's in conjunction with this. For those that are unaware, recently a very big YouTube channel that's a kid's YouTube channel and there's a reason why I'm using that and that'll become clear later on has the owner of that channel has been arrested and charged with child molestation and lewd acts with a child under the age of 16. But this happened at roughly the same time that um, Greg Paul, which is Jake and Logan Paul's father, he's, um, some of his accounts were hacked. And in those accounts, it was reported, I haven't seen the videos and I don't really want to see the videos. That's for the authorities to look into, not me. Um, where it is reported, like I said, because I haven't seen the videos and I don't want to see the videos, um, that Greg Paul had videos, um, questionable videos, on his, it was either on his cloud or in his email or something, of him participating participating in acts with somebody under the age of 18. Now, you can't see her face and you can't see his face. However, you do see certain things in the room that do look like Greg's um, bedroom. Um, as for the accuracy on the child's age, I don't know. Um, nobody, no, Nobody's actually come up and said, yes, yeah, you know, this, this was me, I'm over 18 or what. Nothing like that has happened yet. But I would say that the authorities in America are dealing with it. Right. Also on this front, because um, I know every time I talk about paedophilia, the pro pedo people come up and say things on the comments saying that I'm wrong and that I'm an idiot. First off, and this is where my education really kicks in, I have a degree in forensic science and criminology. In, within which I studied child abuse extensively. I also studied forensic psychology. Now, I am one person you do not want to argue that with. In my personal life, I know multiple people who have been victimised by a paedophile and I can tell you that every single one of them has lasting effects. I won't go into details of who they are or their story because that's not my place. And I'll also mention this, only one of those people, one of the predators in these cases, were ever brought to justice. In all the other instances, they never were. So, and I've seen the damage firsthand. I've also studied the damage extensively with this, and this is its topic, that I will be discussing on Friday, the effects of this type of abuse, any type of abuse on a child, especially sexual abuse, is absolutely damaging. And for people to say it isn't, I'd love to know where you're living because it ain't on this planet. Right, now let's get into specifics. Um, this video isn't going to be for everybody, I know that. Um, I've pretty much given up on ever being monetized because I talk about paedophilia a bit, so because it is one thing that pisses me the fuck off. Now, um, 
I sort of knew a little bit about it until, and then Phil covered it the other day. So then I looked more into it and, oh. But, YouTube born innocent in this situation and I'll explain what I mean when I get to that point. The owner of, uh, it's a, there's a group of channels but the main one that's been spoken about is one called um, Seven Awesome Kids. And the owner of that chan channel in Wyler has been arrested for child molestation and lewd acts with a child under the age of six. Well, I know child's under the age of 18, but in the, the actual arrest warrant, it says a child under the age of 16. Um, now, um, the... What happened is some of the people, the channel is generally video, the people on the videos are generally kids and a lot of them are girls. And a few of them actually spoke up and went to the police um, and to go into specifics, but not too specific. The girl he was found with when he was arrested um, had signed her contract five days before. They were in a hotel room where she had been instructed to take her top off and she was told that if she didn't, he would take it off by force because she had to get used to taking her top off. He told her to practice wrapping to make a recipe smaller for a photo shoot. Um, there's other instances that I find. Um, what's I did write some else? Videos include being knocked out, strange challenges that seem to be simulating something children should never do. Um, there's a there's a thumbnail or a screenshot of a video that um, was in Phil's video yesterday because I'm recording this Wednesday, um, which I will be linking in the iCard. And I'm not joking. When I saw it, my stomach just went like that. <coughs> um, People out kids in bathing suits and bikinis, which to a point is normal, but n not the no. Um, low angles, and when I'm talking about low angles, I'm not talking like waist, I'm talking about floor looking up, and um, taking the clothes off, taping them to walls. It's oh, it's absolutely horrendous. Um, now. <clears throat> The girls had to go to YouTube. Uh, well, the girls couldn't go to YouTube, which I'll get to in a minute. So they went to the police. Obviously, the police have got involved. This is on the back of Austin Jones. This is on the back of what's going on with Chris Ingham at the moment. And what's happened with several other YouTubers in the past where this has happened. And it's essentially, they use, it's very much like... Nickelodeon and Disney how you've got people in those areas that do things they shouldn't do and they are using because they work for Nickelodeon or Disney as a cover to cover up what they're doing now <clears throat> this is not in Hollywood it's not in Hollywood that if your child's an actor then there's a possibility of them not staying all shall we say and I there are videos all over YouTube there are videos all over any platform for you to look at, look at into these instances and there are several people that are vocal about saying this is a problem, this is a problem, this is a problem and they never get listened to. <coughs> to actually reinforce this I'll actually tell a story. Um, I've told this story before on this channel but I'll tell it again. When Michael Jackson had the first set of claims I think it was about um, interfering with a child or a child molestation, whichever way you want to put it. He, one of his friends, Corey Feldman, was questioned. And when they questioned Corey Feldman, because Corey Feldman and Michael Jackson were close friends, Corey Feldman says, Look, Michael's never done anything like that. He says, I've been alone with Michael for days. He says, He's never done anything. He said, There's never been any hint of that. He said, Nothing. Um, he said, But. He said, here's a list of people you need to look at. And everybody said, oh, no, that never happened, that never happened, that never happened. And then when 
the whole thing that was kicking off with Corey Feldman when he was going to expose people, which he has started doing. The police, the LAPD said, yeah, I did. And it's like, well, why wasn't anything done then? And it's like, um, um, um. People have reported this and they've either been silenced or they're just not believed because there's the old thing of kids make this shit up. Most kids don't. And you can usually tell if they have. And nine times out of ten, if it is made up, it's not on the kid's behalf. That is a type, that is a conversation for another day. I did sort of mention this on my last live stream where I discussed um, Tanner. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Um, now, the reason why I say YouTube isn't innocent in this situation, I'll explain. Recently, YouTube, on the heels of everything that happened with Daddy 5, they included something called a child protection wellness clause, essentially. I don't know whether it's called that or not, but that's essentially what it is, is that if a children is a child is in the video, then the child can't be in the video for more than a certain amount of time, that the child has to be willing to partake in the video, willing to do what the parent wants them to do on video, etc., and not be forced. That didn't happen in this case. The Some of the girls that were involved have actually said that there was nobody for them to contact. Um, the par they didn't want to tell the parents because they were told that if they were to tell the parents, then they'd lose their job and the parents would lose any money that they could possibly earn. Um, and the child would lose any money that they could, they could possibly earn. And they, they, they were told, um, the parents were told that some of the videos the children may have certain reactions to certain videos um, but it's just make-believe type of thing so the parents just trusted this guy um, but in the end the end of the there was the girls have said there was nobody that they could contact it contact at YouTube there was nobody that they could talk to at YouTube and say look this is the channel I'm on this is what's going on this I I need you to stop this I need your help there wasn't that that facility now if you're a company that runs multiple channels and um, you're supposed to be a company and you're supposed to look into the interests of children however when you are and this is one of the issues i have with youtube um when you are a youtube channel unless you earn a certain amount of money you're there's no point even declaring it as a job especially in this country, because you're not earning enough money to qualify as a job. So, in that instance, in this specific instance, then you've got these kids that are saying, yeah, but I've, I, you know, I've worked this many hours, I've done this many videos, blah, 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 and these are the situations. YouTube can't do anything. And YouTube really needs to, especially ch ch channels that are, um, the videos are done by kids and are very kid centric they need to have more involvement they need to have more oversight and this is something we've been saying for years this channel and several others have been spoke about for the last year that the content on this channel is very questionable that the content is creepy and wrong and seedy and it was blatantly obvious by the angles, by the clothes, by almost everything that although the channel on the on the appeared to be child child based, child friendly, the true market for that channel is something completely different, and is so much seedier. And this guy knew that. Now the channel has been demonetized. All all these guys' channels have been demonetized. But they won't take the channel down until he's convicted, which is why Mike Martin lost all his channels because he was convicted. And I think Austin Jones has had his taken down. Now, when you when you do things like this, when you say things like this, when you act this way towards children, it makes everybody on YouTube 
wary of children's channels it's happened before and it will happen again it's continuous and the fact that youtube seemed to always be late to the party because this channel as i think this channel itself has something like 10 million subscribers it's a case of oh they're bringing lots of money and so we'll leave them alone yeah but that's not helping the children when i saw a couple of the clips that phil showed my stomach was turning i nearly vomited all over the bed it was making me feel sick and it doesn't i it takes a lot to make me feel sick but there is one thing that will guarantee to make me feel sick and it's this you don't touch your child now for those that say that this is healthy that children being involved in adult relationships with adults is healthy if you comment anything like that on this channel it will be sent to the appropriate authorities in this country which will then pass it to the appropriate authorities in your country and for those that say oh well, you can't find out what we live i can't but the police can subpoena youtube second you will be reported to youtube third you will be banned from this channel and fourth, you are a disgusting human being. And I have no shame in saying that. There is one thing that will always get my blood boiling. Always, without a fail. And that is harming a child. In any sense. Whether you are exploiting them for your gain. Whether you are abusing them or you are beating the shit out of them. This is the exact same reaction I had with the whole daddy of five it's the exact same reaction i've had with other instances you do not do this and i will be covering on friday the three major effects of child abuse especially sexual abuse and if you dare to think that i'm pulling this out my ass you should come and see me and i will show you all the evidence i have and I will tell you stories of people, not necessarily the people that I know of, but cases I know of, that will make their toes curl and winds up happening to those people. Um, let's just say, in several cases, cases they've turned into serial killers. I'm not saying that happens to all victims, but it happens to a very, very, very small amount. There are very, very, there are several cases, especially where somebody who was abused as sexual abuse as a child obviously it's not the only factor but it is a factor and has gone off gone on to kill people because of what's happened to them as a child you don't abuse kids in any sense just because you're an adult and they're a child does not mean you have the right to beat ten bells or shit out of people does not mean you have the right to use them as you will they are a person when all is said and done and they have free will Yes, they have to obey social norms and obey life and obey normality. But you also have to think of this. You also have to think of the fact that these children will grow up to be adults. And in some cases, the circle of abuse will just continue. So, if you have an issue with what I say... Fine. But let's just put it this way. You are a disgusting human being. But YouTube do need to look into having a section that is dedicated to watching videos that include children. And highlighting any to the FBI should they be deemed as questionable. And an algorithm doesn't do it. It's, the algorithm has proved time and time again that the one thing it cannot do is protect children. The one thing it cannot do is understand the mentality of a human being. It cannot replace the fact that a person will see a video including a child and we have a specific reaction that would make them think that's not right. Algorithm doesn't have that. YouTube really needs to take occur with this because this has been raised in the past it needs to be raised again youtube need to fix this and fix it soon because if they don't it's only going to get worse the amount of people 
that are every year are saying this YouTube is doing this or when I've worked on this YouTube this is what's happening it really isn't making the platform look any better if anything it's making it worse and then to have the father of two of the biggest people on this platform to also be suspected at the same time and then another family vlogger be suspected at the same time when I talk on Friday I will also be mentioning another case that I didn't know about until I was ready to go here the other day and she mentioned it and it's actually a case that happened here in the UK but I'll go into that on on um, on Friday like I said I'll be recording that tomorrow night because I can't record this shit during the day because my husband will flip um, because he gets just as mad if not worse than I do um, but yeah if you see any videos any comments on this video from the pro pedo groups then send me a tweet or whatever or even screen cap it and send it to the FBI whatever just because I don't always check my comments you see so anyway with that being said I'm gonna do sort this video out and calm down I really need to calm down right stay safe be good have fun and I will see you on Friday <laughs>